Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the watercolour brushes in Abyss Paint X. So the watercolour brushes are watercolour styled brushes, and there are three of them. You have water, opaque, and mix. I'll be explaining each of these functions separately, but a really simple rundown is water is for blending, opaque is for laying down colours, and mix is for a bit of both. Now something important that I found with the watercolours is you never want to have a transparent background. Even if it looks white, it's usually transparent. You are going to want to have some colour in there before you start. It's also pretty important that you usually do your blending where the colours are and on a layer with colours already on it. Because if you have a completely blank layer, then usually you will just mix white into there and it won't mix quite right. You have to treat it kind of like a painting. So I'm going to get the opaque first. And I'm going to make it a slightly darker colour so that we can see it better. With the opaque is almost like an airbrush kind of feel, but a little bit more solid than an airbrush. Then the mix, as you can see, actually picks up the colour in there and moves it around a little bit, unlike the opaque. Now here is showing you the water, so bear in mind that we already have this base colour in here and then the red so that I can mix. The water is a sort of blending tool. You can mix these colours together and create a really, really nice effect. I would definitely recommend this instead of some of the other painting brushes, because a lot of them can really slow your device down, especially if you don't have a really powerful one. For example, if you're just drawing on your phone or on your normal tablet, then these kinds of things can be extremely helpful. With blending it in for shading things, I would typically just sort of use the opaque and get the vague shape of whatever I want in there first. Add a couple different shades and then I would go in with the water and I would just gently blend it out. As you can see for a really simple technique it has a lovely look to it once you've fully blended it out. Although sometimes you will need to add colours on top again because as you can see it removes the white pretty easily. That is how to use the watercolour brushes in Ibis Paint X. I would definitely recommend these instead of using some of the online ones because they just crash devices instantly sometimes from what I've seen. As always, feel free to look in there and change some of the settings if you want. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!